Cosmic here and welcome back to another Legends of Runeterra video. Today I'm very excited that we finally have our first look at the Mount Targon spoilers. Now, it's not a champion, it's not anything as super flashy as that, but we do have a new keyword which is still pretty great. So, Spell Shield, and it's coming with the Bastion uh, Burst Speed spell that costs 3 mana. Uh, it says, give an ally spell shield this round, which means it's going to nullify the next enemy spell or skill that would affect this unit. So, this falls into um, a, a weird spot of, it's not quite a barrier, it's not quite deny, but it follows, you know, a similar role between both of those. And I'll post the, the Reddit um, comment that a dev left, uh, talking more about it and talking about one of the future cards as well. So... You know, just in general, in, in terms of, how, you know, where is this going to fit? We really won't know until we see more of the region. Uh, but I definitely see this as a card that sees play. We know how strong that Deny has been and also Barrier has been. So it wouldn't be too surprising to see this fill a similar slot. So I really like this card. And especially as one of the other previews we're going to talk uh, a little bit later. Just being able to protect one of your units at burst speed is going to be a very strong effect. Now... Keeping in mind the, the the downside right of burst is that you you know you go into an open swing you put on your uh, bastion if you want uh, they can easily just do like a vile feast into a grasp or something right they have different ways to um, obviously reverse those two they have different ways where they can still get in that damage right you just kind of do a throwaway spell first uh, and we've seen that interaction a lot with barrier so you know in, at least those instances it's gonna follow you know that same type of uh structure now i know a lot of people are hyper focused around uh you know it's a it's a three cost burst deny it just cancels avalanche and stuff like that no you know again as that comment verified and also what we've seen or should see going forward it's just think about it as a bubble right it just protects that one unit uh from that avalanche from that other like aoe base of, uh, effect like uh shred punk or something like that right or, you know, make it rain. Just different um, different spells like that that have a more AoE in nature. So it still allows you to, per, you know, provide that level of protection that you need if you have one unit that just needs to survive uh, until the end of the turn. Again, also, think about how strong this is going to be uh, against something like Vengeance, right? So that's kind of like the other end of the spectrum. Your opponent is going to have to waste a lot of resources to, if you have a Arbiter, again, one of the last cards we're going to talk about, if you just have a big threat that you care about, like a... Um, or even like a they who endures, right? If you know that their only out is going to be, uh, you know, a vengeance or just some very high cost of removal, you could just bank the spell mana and protect it. it. It's not difficult. So at least in terms of what we're seeing for Targon so far, I really like this. I think this is a um, an obvious one since we knew that Tarak was going to be one of the champions. So I'm not all that surprised to see this effect. And I, I see, you know, I've read all the Reddit comments because I'm the spoiler guy, so I always post up that image. Uh, I've kind of seen the comments around. There's so many people that are just saying, it, you know, this is OP. It's beyond broken. It's going to go to four mana. It's going to go to fast. There's like a lot of speculation around it. Uh, and I definitely would say it's very early in the spoiler season. Just wait. I definitely think this is going to be playable in Targon uh, type of decks, but I don't think it's going to be so overpowered that once we actually start playing with the cards that it's going to need some kind of um, emergency nerf, right, as, as the term might go. So very strong effect. Because it's a keyword, that means we're going to see it on other cards. And as you're going to see with these, these uh, other spoilers that we have, I'm expecting to see this on a support card that says give your uh, or give the card this is supporting spell shield, something like that, right? Or other ways that are just going to be a, a bigger spell where maybe you're giving it to multiple, right? Because this is a dedicated keyword, this is not the only time that we're going to see it. Uh, so my guess is that it's going to be tied to a champion. Again, most likely Tarek. Um, but otherwise, I wouldn't be surprised if this pops up in, you know, two or three other areas. From there, we now get into more of the actual uh, card reveals. And I think this is a point where I have to kind of step back and make a note up front. So, again, based on the champions um, that we're getting, and I don't want to spoil too much of it in case you're someone who hasn't looked at the data mines or listened to them, I guess, in that case. So I won't say too much, but we knew that uh, Mount Targon was going to be a heavy support-focused region. So... Not surprisingly, all the spoilers that we got today are around that kind of support mechanic or support theme. Now, the disclaimer that I want to add here, this is likely not going to be a full-on dedicated archetype like something that we see with Deep, right? This is meant to be more of a what we'd call sub-theme of Mount Targon that's going to be able to fit into more decks. Now, 
Um, obviously, if you're kind of in this more support archetype between this card and the next one, you're pr probably going to have a very heavily dedicated support build. And at least at the time of recording and the spoilers that we have, I don't think that there's going to be enough for a support archetype right now. But it would be absurd to imagine that these are going to be the only um, impactful support cards that we're going to see from Targon, right? Even with the mini uh, set that we're getting compared to how Rising Tides launched, we have to see more support cards than just the few other, the following ones that we're going to have here. The other thing that I want to acknowledge here is that uh, Tayari, I guess is how you pronounce that. Uh, I'm terrible with names, as everybody knows. Um, it's a named card. So like Cythria. So immediately to kind of like back up that that, that uh, claim I just made, I'm expecting to see a four drop, a six drop, an eight drop, right? Some combination of this card as it as it's going on its journey, uh, which I'm assuming up like Mount Targon is how this story is going to um, unfold. I don't actually know. Again, I'm not a huge lore person, but I'm expecting this to be a card that evolves over time. Now, because again, it's in that Mount Targon region, it's going to have this support mechanic that just keeps building on one, of, one another. So thankfully, you know, this might not look that impressive, uh, at least right now, but as we get the kind of evolved versions, for lack of a better word, right, the upgraded versions of it, um, I would expect some of those other variants to see play. Now, the disclaimer that I'll add here, right, uh, in a lot of cases, just curving, you know, this into, let's say, Zed, giving him that two extra HP so that he can freely attack on three is pretty good. But is that worth the deck slot space? Probably not. So that's kind of some of those considerations that you have to make, right? Very early on, we're just kind of, you know, high level what are the different cards and different pairings that it can go with? Um, I know a lot of people are also thinking about like, hey, I just want my Ash to survive a little bit more, or I want my like Legion drummers, right? We've, we've kind of seen these um, various cards that either directly have support or are often supported uh, in certain decks that say, okay, well, what if we had a different support, right? Maybe we're not giving it the quick attack, but maybe we're giving it, you know, more health, or maybe we'll have a support that gives um, trample, or sorry, overwhelm, excuse me, in this region, like Cato the Arm and Noxus. So I don't think it's gonna be like that exact one to one, but kind of think about other mechanics or keywords that it might have, right? Maybe support gives barrier like Shen. I'm expecting that we see kind of more of that involvement um, from Targon. And maybe it's a spell, maybe it's just, you know, uh, give a support support, or this the card I'm supporting gains support to do something else, right? If you have like a multiple link thing. So I really like where this is going so far. I'm gonna rate this uh, originally very low, um, only because we don't know how deep this, you know, support archetype is really going to end up being. And I think that the evolved versions are just going to be better. So I don't have a lot of hype around this card, at least on the early reveals. Uh, but again, we're exactly four cards deep in the however many it is, again, that Targon is going to be getting. So kind of, you know, just wait and see. Now, the card I am excited about that is getting a lot of flack. And again, this is a card that had its text updated is the the mountain climbers or, or the mountain uh, sojourners in this case so i like i can see like the artwork that links between the three of them um really what this card does uh you want to support you give permanents i don't this is something i forgot to mention on the last um the last card right so these all have grant which means it is a permanent buff that you are getting it's not just a you know plus two plus two until end around and five hp is very very beefy so this card is already going to be giving plus four, plus four. And if you have a support chain that's, you know, going with this as well, you're also buffing those cards. So one of the things that got updated in this is that if this has, you know, support next to it, then that card is also supporting another card. They all get plus two, plus two, and then it keeps chaining. So if your entire board is uh, various support cards, you put this up front and now your entire field is getting buffed, right? So... The obvious downside is that this is a five cost card. It comes down at a really awkward spot. If you think about, you know, hearth guards or just like Garen, just big body units that, can, that could make this difficult to swing through multiple times. However, there are some matchups where they only might have three threes or four fours. And if you're getting that double buff uh, out of this, it's very much going to be worth it. Now, the other thing that I really like about this card, and I know nobody wants to hear it, but I have to say it, uh, elusives, right? So you're, you're giving a permanent buff to elusives, and I'm sure we're going to be getting more of those, right? So think about some of the other cards that we might be getting out of Ionia. Or again, if we just have a card that has Overwhelm or Quick Attack, right? Giving a permanent buff to those style of cards is going to be very, very strong. And I know this is going to be a really weird reference to make, and I'm even going to have to put up the card because I know nobody's going to know what it is. 
um, but the uh, what Intemperate Mar Mariner that gives something elusive, right? So that's how we need to start thinking about this card. So not only is that card going to get plus two, plus two, whatever it's then buffing and giving elusive to, you're then also granting plus two, plus two. Now, yes, that might be a little bit too much living the dream. Maybe PNZ isn't where we want to be for our, you know, splash of choice for Mount Targon. But you have to think about this a bit differently um, than you would just say, you know, hey, I have, a, I have a, just a big body unit, right? It's not the... Big body mid-range of Frailyord, right? There's different avenues which this card uh, has potential for. And then, of course, if you have multiple of these kind of all chained together, it's going to be insane. So, yes, this is in a very much wait and see. Um, I'm definitely rating this card a lot higher. I think it's going to be playable, uh, if only because a very strong sub-theme of Targon is going to be support. So, I have to imagine that this card is designed in mind with them wanting to make sure that they're pushing this as one of the epics right we're only getting um i i'm assuming what three epics uh three or four epics for targon we've already seen two of them so this has to be a card that they're considering uh in terms of how can they make it playable in the meta what does that look like and again not every epic passes that test at least within set one and set two we know a lot of them that have ended up being unplayable uh but at least me per uh, personally because it does give that permanent buff at plus two, plus two, and it shouldn't be that hard to give it an overall stat boost of plus eight, plus eight to your board, right? Plus four, plus four, and then plus four, plus four again. Uh, if we're able to put that on something that has a good keyword like overwhelm, I think you're going to be coming out ahead uh, quite a bit, right, in, in that regard. So again, the cost is a little bit uh, in an awkward spot. Would have loved to see this at four. Um, obviously might've been too good in that case, but the five HP should make sure that it swings through twice and you're able to buff up the rest of your board. Now, kind of to bring this all home to kind of like, okay, well, what's the payoff? Why should we care? Uh, Arbiter of the Peak. And this is by far the best card that was revealed today. One, because it's going to be a cheap overwhelm unit, right? So reduce my cost by one for each time you've, you've targeted or supported, uh, allies, uh, this game. So Keeping in mind with the support mechanic that we were just talking about and with the, the car that we just talked about and being able to chain our entire field or just knowing that with Bastion and, and the different types of cards we're expecting to see in Targon, this should uh, uh, be a, a card that is just very, very cheap for us to play. Now, is it going to be the end-all be-all for other decks that might have, um, you know, let's think about Ionia, right? You have a lot of buffs that way. So there's a lot of interesting combinations that you could make with this. Uh, and I think that at least from a versatility standpoint, uh, it's a very strong card in what it's going to be offering. So I think, again, overall, in terms of what we've seen today, this should be the highest rated card. Again, it being very early on in spoilers, so we don't know exactly what this is going to look like. But honestly, I, I would give it kind of like a, a six to maybe seven right off the bat. Um, if only because this has, you know, certainly more potential than the other ones. And most importantly, you might be comparing this to Plaza Guardian, uh, which was able to very easily get, you know, its cost reduced to zero. Uh, but that only had quick attack. So it really could just get chump block into oblivion. We're now overwhelmed, right? Make sure that you're getting that damage over the top. And if we think about the card that we just talked about, right, you're very easy to buff this up turn after turn as well, right? So making this an 8-8 and then a 10-10. And obviously they're going to be chump blocking something, you know, turn after turn. But you're able to continuously power this up uh, by just the cards that are exactly in your region, right? So I think one of the biggest checks for this card is going to be how good are the rest of Targon's spoilers and what other region can really, you know, get the most use out of targeting your own cards uh, the most amount of times to make sure you're still getting that cost reduction, right? Because, um, you know, at a five or, or even a four cost, this seems pretty good, but that's still four or five targets um, that you have to hit uh, to, to really see that reduction. So really looking forward to, to seeing where this ends up. Definitely very excited for both of these epics so far, and tomorrow we're going to get even more spoilers. So as, as the spoiler pool deepens, right, we see more of these cards, we're definitely going to have a better idea of how all of these fit together. Uh, but at least of today, the first two epics I'm really excited for, right? So we can go here to the overview. Um, these two I'm very excited for. I think they're definitely going to be in a good spot. Uh, Tyari, again, I'm probably butchering the name. I don't see its two drop being in, a, in that grave of a spot, but I'm very much looking forward to its upgraded factors. And then Bastion, I mean, uh, as long as we've seen Barrier C play, and obviously it's like... Part barrier, part deny, it's going to be a really strong effect. I mean, just being able to counter someone's vengeance for 
a, a burst speed spell is going to be amazing. So I am super hyped for this set, for this region in particular, I should say. Um, maybe you might have noticed it's in the name, but Cosmic. I really do love all this more like Celestial and, you know, Constellation or Asteriums, uh, Asteriums uh, that kind of flow into this this design i really love like the purples and the blues and the pinks that are all coming together so just from a like a color standpoint like a, a um a color palette design on the cards absolutely i'm all for this i'm really 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 looking forward to uh whatever spoilers right that we end up getting here um i mean for the next what 13 days or whatever it is still the, the set launches the time of recording this so with that, I hope you enjoyed this first look at Targon Spoilers. I'm very excited, and you've probably seen this image up on Reddit already. Um, every day, whenever we get the spoilers, make sure you can either follow me um, on Twitter, Cosmic Plays there, or if you just look to Reddit, I'll have them up there. Usually, I'm the most upvoted uh, comment because I'm always the first one to get them up there. And I did all these already for the Rising Tides set, right? So if you saw all of these spoiler cards, yep, that was me. I'm the spoiler guy. Um, people apparently didn't know that, so I have to make that disclaimer as well, but I absolutely love doing this kind of stuff, and it's just nice to have it all in, you know, one image, you know, like, hey, this was today's spoiler, so that people can, you know, share it with their own communities and make sure that everyone's, you know, on the same page of what was revealed today. So, with that, you can help me out a ton by pressing that subscribe button, uh, making sure that the Runeterra videos are getting out there. If you want to see future content, don't forget to hit the like button as well. But with that, I'll see you tomorrow for more Targon spoilers. Be safe, everybody. Drink your water, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.